first question was identify the non terminating rational number we have to identify the non terminating rational number and the options were there that is 5 by 2 7 by 5 9 by 10 and the 5 by 3 okay so quickly we will be just we need to check the options so the first option is 5 by 2 we can understand if we will do the division like this 2 is there so if we will divide it 5 2 2 times 4 and terminating decimal number we will be getting from here yes or no here we'll get one then decimal then 2 5 times so can you see terminating decimal fraction we are getting decimal number we are getting yes so yes, this sir. one is terminating we have to choose non terminating okay this one is terminating 9 by 10 means what 0.9 can i write Yes, yes or no? So no need to divide. Yes, this one is also terminating. Now one more division we just have to do. So this seven by five. Can you see five will divide this seven completely after taking the decimal? Check it. If we will take this one, then five one times five six seven two as a remainder we are getting. Then decimal one zero five four times twenty. That's it. So this is one point four we are getting. This is terminating decimal number. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Last option has to be non-terminating. No need to check that. It is non-terminating, and we will mark that this is non-terminating decimal number. Any confusion over here? Shard and Shamia. No, no. no, no. Yeah, Arhan is also there. Arhan, you have not given the assessment, no? No, I have given the assessment. You have given the assessment. Yes, ma'am. I have not got the uh, your result. Okay, I will ask for that. I have got Sam's and Shamia's result. Okay, no worries. So we were supposed to find non-terminating decimal number from here. and by just by going through the options checking options we got it okay so always just be careful whenever we are having 9 by 10 9 by 100 no need to do the division please don't do the division okay we have you have already learned that how to convert how to write it in decimal without doing the actual division okay if we are having a number 0.25 we know we can write it as a 25 by 100 and if we are having 25 by 100 we know we can write it as a 0.25 okay okay ma'am let's move ahead let's see the next question a fraction is terminating a fraction a fraction is terminating if its denominator has factor of so a fraction is terminating if its denominator has a factor of so we have to choose the option the first option is 2 and 5 only option 2 is 2 and 3 only option 3 is 5 and 6 only option 4 is 7 and 9 only see a fraction is will be terminating when its denominator when its denominator will be 
or five you can check it in the first question when it was two we got terminating when it was five we got terminating because whatever be the number after the decimal if the denominator is two okay if the denominator is two and after the like after doing the division you can take it any number any number of your choice let's say we are taking 23 23 by 2 if the denominator is 2 then obviously after a certain digit like after a certain place of decimal it will just get stopped it will get terminated okay check it then we will divide it it will be 2 1 times 2 3 again 2 1 times 2 then decimal decimal will give 0 and that's what 2 need right 2 5 times 10 so when the denominator will be either 2 5 you can understand the table of 5 5 2 times 10 5 4 times 20 30 40 50 all the numbers are 0 so like all the numbers are there 10 is there 20 is there 30 is there 40 is there 50 is there in the table of 5 these all the numbers are there if we will go ahead obviously 60 will be there 70 will be there also so 5 will definitely 5 will divide and it will make the fraction terminating but 2 will also divide whatever we will be having the fraction 2 and 5 are such a number which will divide it completely after a certain place of decimal okay do you want to check with any examples sham shadia yes, for sir. your clarification yes sir. tell me a fraction yes, where the denominator is 10 or uh, sorry 2 Actually, when, when we will be taking a decimal, it will give zero. Now, any number, any number, think it. That any number, be it a one, be it two, be it three, okay? Uh, like the remainder will be either, either one. When we are dividing it by two, the remainder can be either zero or one. When it will be two or more than two, it will just we will be able to again apply one more step and we will be able to do the division, right? When yes. we are dividing any number, let's say 5, what will, what can be the remainder? The remainder will be 2, 2 times 4. The remainder can be 1. Okay? When we are dividing a number, let's say 6, what will be the remainder? Two, zero. Three times six. The remainder is 0. Alright? When we are dividing a number, let's say 7, by 2. So 2 again 3 times 6 remainder is 1. Suppose instead of this one digit number if we are having two digit number let's say we are having 15. All right again 15 will give uh, such a 1 5 3. Suppose this is what we are having. If we will divide it by 2 2 7 times 14 remainder is one from here and then we will copy down three now it will go by two right two six times twelve and the remainder will be one so are you getting we will stop when we will stop when the remainder is either zero or one when it is two or more than two few more step we will be able to perform in long division method yes or no yes sir Right? Yes, so, when we are dividing any number by 2, either the remainder is 0 or the remainder is 1. Now, once we will apply that, if the remainder is 0, that means completely divisible. And if the remainder is 1, that means we will write, we will give the decimal. If no other number is there, which we can copy it from the top part, then we can give one decimal that will give one zero and this will be completely divisible now, right? So why we are just seeing these cases to understand when the denominator is either two 
or five after a certain place of decimal the division will stop the stop means there will be a termination and the answer will be a terminating decimal number are you getting me yes sir are you getting me so a fraction is terminating decimal number when its denominator has a factor of 2 and 5 only got it Three yes. we cannot say. Okay. Yes, if you want to check the example of three, the best example is 10 by 3. Check it. 3, 3 times 9. Then 1 will be the remainder. You can check it. Then we will divide 10 by 3. 3, 3 times 9. The remainder is 1. Then decimal 1, 0. Again 3, 3 times 9. Okay. Again it will 3, 3, 3, 3. Just keep on going. Okay. So 3 must not be there. Here 6, 6 contains 3. 6 means what? 2 into 3. So we will not be taking. 9 means what? 2, 3 into 3. So obviously 7, 9, these are the incorrect option. The correct option is 2 and 5 only. Is there any confusion in this one? Sham, Shadia and uh, Shad, sorry. Okay. Shamia, Shad and Arhan. All right. Is there any confusion in these questions? No. no. Now the next, this one also I can see you have already attempted this question. Next one is, I believe uh, you have not attempted. Okay, let's take the next, next one. When we are having 0 0.2 bar, we can write it. Previous day, we were discussing about it. That even when decimal numbers are of two types. Terminating decimal, non-terminating decimal. Terminating decimal, we understand that is 0 0.253.652. These are the examples. Non-terminating decimal are again two types. One is repeating. Another one is non-repeating. The repeating criteria, the repeating one is called a rational number. Non-repeating, non-terminating and non-repeating or non-terminating and non-recurring is what is called the irrational number. So, ration, this one is rational number 0 0.2 and bar on the head means it is bar on the head means it is 0 0.2222222 will keep on coming and keep on coming and keep on coming. All right. So, this is what we are getting from this 0 0.2 bar or dot on the head of 2. Okay. This is we already know. We already know it is a rational number. Now the question says how to represent this type of rational number in, in the form of P by Q. Okay. When the question is how to represent this, this number in the form of P by Q, we can say it will be 25 by 100. We can also reduce it in lowest form. 5, 5 times 25, 5, 2 times 10 like this. 5, 1 times 5, 4 times 20. So it will be 1 by 4. We have written it in the form of P by Q when the rational number was in the form of terminating decimal. But when it is in the form of non-terminating decimal number, that is 0 0.2 bar, we can write it in the form of P by Q because this is also rational number and every rational number can be represented in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers. How we will be representing it? So it will be 2 by 9. Okay. After decimal, how many digits are there? One digit is there, so one nine. If we will be having 0 0.23 and 23, both are having bar on the head or both are having dot on the head, then we will be writing 23 by 99. Are you getting it? Now I need to check the revised syllabus. Like previously, this was also there in the syllabus that how we are getting 2 by 9. The proof of that, okay? This time I need to let just let me check whether this one again it is there in there in the syllabus or not. That's how we are getting this two by nine. Okay, if it will be like there, we will be discussing it. 
let me see the revised syllabus of nine. Now, is it clear that 0 0.2 bar on the head will be 2 by 9? If 2 yes, digits are there after the decimal, that, then by 99 will be there. If 3 digits are there, and let me tell you, 3 digits are there and all are repeating itself, then we will be having the number divided by the number of digits who, which are repeating itself. That many number of time 9 we have to take in the denominator. Okay, we will be discussing, we will coming to this one, how we are getting by 9 in the denominator. There is a proof of that. There is a method of that by solving the equation. We will come to that portion. First, we need to cover rational numbers. Okay, then we will move to irrational numbers. And this one belongs to rational numbers. So when we will be discussing about rational number, now only we will be covering these also. Now the next one is, Find the cube of 0 0.1. Cube of 0 0.1 means just power 3. And do the multiplication. It will be 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 into 0 0.1. Now in multiplication, we must know that when we are multiplying this two, it will be first what we can understand that 1 into 1 will be 1. But since two places like this decimal and this decimal, like one, one digit after the decimal over here, one digit after the decimal over here, that means two digit we need. So we can write it like this, 0 0.01. Let me explain you this concept if you have forgotten. If we are having 2.5 and if we have to multiply it with, let's say 1.5, okay? Let's do the multiplication. The basic two-step multiplication we will be performing over here. Let's see. 5, 5 times 25, 5, carry 2. 5, 2 times 10, 11, 12, 125. I'm not going to put the decimals for now, okay? Now, 1, 5 times 5, 1, 2 times 2. Let's add them, 5, 5, 6, 7, 2, 1, 3. The basic approach, the basic method of doing the multiplication I have performed over here, okay? Now, here we are having one digit, here we are having one digit. That means from the last, we need to count two digit. One, two. So it will be 3.75. Are you getting? Yes, ma'am. So this is how we have to find the cube of 0 0.1. Just a second. This is how we need to find the multiplication of this 0 0.1. So 1 into 1 into 1, the very basic method which we, we will follow over here will be, can you see here 0 0.1 is there, here 0 0.1 is there, here 0 0.1 is there. So what, what we will do, first we will multiply the number. 1 is there, 1 is there, 1 is there. So we will multiply the numbers at first. The way we have done the multiplication on the right hand side, here, like that only we will multiply the numbers at first. So 1 into 1 into 1 is 1. But we need 3 digits, right? After the decimal. Okay, or 3 digits from the last and then decimal we have to place. We are having only 1 digit. So we need to make it 3 digit. How? By placing 0 in front. So can you tell me what will be the number? What will be the cube of this 0 0.1 cube? Yes, Samia. What will be the cube of 0 0.1? Yes, Shamia. 0 0.001. 0 0.001. Yes, Arhan, Shad, are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Any confusion over yes, here? Okay. Let's let's no, say we are having two point. Let me take a basic normal easier number so that you don't have to multiply it in the rough part. Suppose we are having zero point two square. Can you tell me what will be the result? Shad. 
please tell me what will be the result without, without doing multiplication. It will be? Um, can I tell? Uh, yes, sure. I'm um, 0 0.04. Yes, or Han, you said no? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Shad, are you getting? Yes, Shad, are you there? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are. Okay. Yes, Shad, please respond. Are you getting it? If you are getting, can you tell me what will be the result of 0 0.2 to the power 4? Yes, Shad. Anyone from here who can answer this one? I'm 0 0.0008. Uh, wait. Be careful. 2 to the power 4. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 8. Please don't uh, say it will be 8. It will uh, be uh, 0 0.2. Ma'am, 0 0.0016. 0 0.0016. Yes, yes Arhan, agree with her? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Shad, are you getting it? Yes, Shad, let me know. Are you facing any connectivity issue or what? Okay. So, this is how we will be finding the multiplication. First, we just have to multiply the numbers and then from the last, we have to count the digits, okay? If 0 0.2 to the power 4 is there, better you write it. 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.2, okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, it will be 2, 2 times 4, 2 times 8, 2 times 16. But how many places? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, from the last, 4 digit has to be there. And then only we will be placing the decimal. Okay, Shad. No worries, Shad. You can reply in the chat box also. Okay. If you are facing error, if you are on, you are able to listen to me, then you can reply in the chat box. And if you can't listen also, then it's fine. Please try and uh, you can rejoin again. Okay. No worries. So this was one of the questions where we were supposed to find zero point. 2, uh, 0 0.1 cube. Okay. Now the last question is what is the multiplicative inverse? Just a moment. Let me write it. Write the multiplicative inverse of 10.48 options are 25 by 262 option b 33 by 610 option c 1048 over 100 and option d 100 by 1045 now let's see what is the meaning of multiplicative inverse okay So we are having 10.48 here. We are having 10.48 here. Let's write it in the form of fraction first. So when we will write 10.48 in the form of P by Q, can you tell me what can be written? Anyone from here? I'm 1048 upon 100. Yeah, 1048 upon 100, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, 1048 upon 100. This is how we can write it in the form of P by Q. Okay, if we have to reduce it in lowest term, we can do that also. Now the question says, let's reduce it in lowest term if that is possible. So 2, 5 times 10. 
2 2 times 4 2 4 times 8 okay 2 5 times 10 all right now again 2 2 2 times 4 2 6 times 12 and then 2 2 times 4 so the fraction the decimal number 10.48 we can write it in the form of p by q and the reduce form reduce once we have reduced the fraction, we ended up getting 262 over 25, right? Now, the meaning of this multiplicative inverse, if you will focus on the name, it just means that we will, if we are having a fraction, a number, let's say 2 by 5, then multiplicative inverse means we must multiply something with this 2 by 5 so that the result is 1. I account Okay, so 5 by 2, right? Multiplicative inverse means multiply something, multiply a number, a fraction, whatever is possible with the given number so that your result will be 1. That's the meaning of multiplicative inverse. Okay, multiplicative inverse, if you will focus on the name, it just says multiply a number, a fraction with the given number so that the result will come out as a 1. Okay. So when we have to find multiplicative inverse, we always take the reciprocal. Because when we are having A by B, we have to multiply B by A only with it so that everything will get cancelled out and the result we will be getting as a 1. Okay. So, multiplicative inverse means the reciprocal we take always. Here, 10.48 multiplicative inverse. So, 10.48 we can write it as 1048 over 100, which we can reduce it in lowest form. That is, we got 262 by 25. What is the multiplicative inverse of that? Can you tell me? Ma'am, 25 upon 262. 25 upon 262 and option A is the correct option. Are you getting Shad, Shamia? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. This is the meaning of multiplicative inverse. Just a second. Here, few more concepts are there which we need to discuss. Now, similarly, just like the multiplicative inverse, there is a terminology that is called additive inverse. Additive inverse. These are the terminologies which you must have seen in the previous class only, I believe. Right? Yes, ma'am. That the yes, multiplicative inverse, additive inverse, uh, commutative property, uh, associative property for the whole number, associative property, commutative property for the rational number. Th this question, this question is from that section only. Okay. In previous class, you must have done rational number. A full chapter is dedicated. Basics of rational number was there. And they are only property, with the rational number, which, which property is followed by the rational number and which property is not followed by the rational number. This question is from that portion. Okay, so there was a top here multi multiplicative inverse means we will just be taking the reciprocal of the given fraction. Okay, or the reciprocal of the given number. If I, I want to write the multiplicative inverse of 2, it will be 1 by 2. Just the reciprocal of 2. Now, additive inverse. If we have to find the additive inverse of 2, that means again the same, just focus on the name, you will not forget the concept. Okay, multiplicative inverse means multiply something so that the result is 1. Okay, additive inverse means add something with this number. So that the result is 1, no, here we will talk about the result is 0. Add something to this number so that the result is 0. That's called additive inverse, additive inverse. So with 2, what should be added to 2 so that the result is 0? Minus 2. Minus 2. Everyone getting it? Yes, ma'am. Chad, are you getting? Okay. 
Okay, you have replied in the chat box. Okay. Okay, if you have any confusions, Saad, you can just ask me in the chat box. I will keep on checking the chat box as well. Yes, additive inverse is minus two. So multiplicative inverse means multiply something so that the result is one. Additive inverse means add the number, add such a number so that the outcome will be zero. That's called additive inverse. Now let's, uh, we were discussing rational number. Still, we have not moved to irrational number. Let's take few questions from rational numbers only. Just a moment, no? Let's do it. So first question is find six rational number in between three and four. Okay. In between three and four, we are supposed to find six rational numbers. So six rational number in between three and four. One method is there to find the midpoint. Always find the midpoint and then find them like in between three and four, we will be able to find the midpoint by using the midpoint formula that is A plus B by two. What is A? The extreme points. This is A, this is B by two we will be doing. Then the midpoint of this two we will be able to find by using the midpoint formula again but this method is quite lengthy okay again in between these two red points we will be able to find the midpoint again by using the same formula that this one this end point plus this end point over two okay this is how we will be getting the midpoints again and again, again and again, and we will be getting six rational number, but this method is quite time taking. So there is a shortcut for that. Like one method is there, which is like quickly, which will quickly give us six rational number in between three and four. Keep it in mind, there are infinite rational numbers in between three and four, okay? So, what is that method? Since we want to five, find six rational number, so six plus one, that is seven, we will make the denominator. Whatever is the denominator, three and four. This These two numbers we are having, here the denominator is one, here also the denominator is one. We got, we want to find six rational number. So here we will multiply with seven, here also we will multiply with seven. Here also we will multiply with seven, here also we will multiply with seven. Now all of a sudden from where we got seven, since we were supposed to five, find six rational number, so six plus one, at least seven, we must multiply. Okay, at least if we want to multiply with 8, 9, 10, that also we can do. But at least 7, we need to do the multiplication. After doing the multiplication, our fract our numbers, which were 3 and 4, became equivalent fraction we are getting from here. Okay, when you, will multi when you are having a certain fraction, and in that fraction, if you are multiplying in the numerator and denominator, the same number, that will give you an equivalent fraction. Okay, so the frac number 3 and 4 and the fraction 7, 3 times 21 by 7 is the same thing. Let me tell you 3 and 21 by 7 is the same, same number. You can check it. 
that's why we say that it is just equivalent fraction so we are not in mathematics no we cannot do any drastic change by ourselves however we are allowed to do the arrangement you suppose you are sitting on a seesaw okay and there is a equilibrium on the other side of 50 kg person is there on the right hand side of 50 kg person is there on the left hand side also of 50 kg person is there but the equilibrium is there then what we can do in mathematics, equilibrium, to maintain the equilibrium, if I am just adding 2 kg on the right side, I need to add 2 kg on the left side also. This type of arrangement is allowed in mathematics. You must have seen while solving the equation when we are having, let's say x plus 5 is equals to 20. Then if you are subtracting 2 from here, then you can subtract 2 from there also. This is allowed in mathematics. Since there is equality sign, there will be no effect on the equality sign. Similarly, when we are dealing with the fraction, when we are having fraction, let's say 5 by 3, and when you are multiplying three, 2 in the denominator, then you we are supposed to multiply 2 in the numerator also. This way, we are not doing any changes. We are just doing one arrangement. Now it became 10 by 6, which is when we will reduce it, we'll get back to 5 by 3 only. So 5 by 3 and 10 by 6 is equivalent fraction. It's the same fraction. Got it? So that's why we are doing the multiplication like this. So number 3 became 21 by 7 and the number 4 became 7 4 times 28 by 7. Now, 20, now you can write the fractions. Like uh, it, what we were supposed to find, the rational numbers here. Rational numbers we will be able to write quickly. That is 21 by 7, now 22 by 7, 23 by 7, 24 by 7, 25 by 7, 26 by 7, and 27 by 7. Can you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six rational number we were able to introduce without yes, finding the midpoint, 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 again midpoint and that much of calculation so keep in mind this rule what does the rule says what does the rule says suppose we are having two numbers you tell me now how to what to do over here let's say we are having two numbers i'm just taking the whole number for now let's say we are having five and we are having six okay here we need to introduce seven seven rational numbers in between five and six there are infinite rational number in between these two, five and six. We just have to find seven rational numbers. Okay. So, yes. Shamia, can you tell me what we are supposed to do here, over here at first? Can you please repeat the question? Five, in between seven and... Uh, let me show you, write the question clearly so that you will be able to understand. Write seven rational numbers in between five and six. What to do over here? Yes, Shad or Arhan, anyone? Ma'am, we need to multiply uh, both 5 and 6 with 8. And yes. then we need to count uh, from the... Uh, okay. Yeah, we need to count and we need to write. Let's see, Samya and everyone. Okay, Shad, you also and Arhan, you also. Whatever you are saying, Arhan, yeah, that is perfect. That's what we are going to do. See, Samya, we have to find 7 rational number right so we will be taking seven means number seven plus one we will be taking eight okay we will be taking eight 
here in the denominator whatever is there okay whatever is there we will multiply 1 is there in the denominator here we will multiply 8 in the denominator and since we have multiplied 8 in the denominator we have to we are bound to multiply 8 in the numerator also okay similarly the other number is 6 here also in the denominator whatever is there we will multiply 8 and in the numerator we are bound to multiply 8 because that is the rule of fraction if you have given 8 to the denominator, give 8 to the numerator also. So, our number became 40 by 8. Okay, 6 became 48 by 8. Now, if you are thinking that how come we have made 5 to 40 by 8, you can check it. 40 by 8 means 5 only. 40 by 8 means 8, 5 times 40. So, we have not done any changes to the number a little bit of arrangement we have done so far is it clear samya yes, shad yes, arhan okay if we are having 48 by 8 that means 8 6 times 48 so the number is not getting changed okay the representation is getting changed just that so we have changed the representation why because yes, now easily we will be able to write the fraction in between 40 by 8 and 48 by 8. You can see 40 by 8 after that 41 by 8. Keeping the denominator same, we just have to skip. Like move 1, 41, then 42 by 8, then 43 by 8, then 44 by 8, then 45 by 8, then 46 by 8, then 47 by 8. How many rational numbers we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rational numbers we got. Getting it? Shamia, Shad and Arhan. Yes. Is it clear now? Yes. Sir. So this is how we are supposed to do it. When we are having whole numbers, when already the denominator is same. Okay. When we are having whole numbers, that is 5 and 6, when already... The denominator is same. Here the denominator was 1. Here also the denominator was 1 only. We have applied this method when the denominator is already same. Now let me take one more question. Today I am. we are not activating the assessment. Okay. One more class we will be discussing this concept. And then uh, we will activate the assessment so that you can give. However, homework assignment you will get from here. Okay. Okay. Now, one question is like this. Find five rational numbers between three by five and four by five. So the method which we have used previously, same method we are going to use. And this method we will be using only when the denominator is already same. Previously also in this question, denominator was same. That means denominator was 1, 1. Previously also in this question, in between 3 and 4, denominator was same. That means denominator was 1, 1. And the question which we are doing going to do right now here also, the denominator is same already. by 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. So already the denominator, this denominator is same. Now only we are going to use the same method which we have used in the previous two questions. So since we have to find 5 rational number, what should we take? I'm 6. Yes, Shamia. Agreed. Shad, agreed or not? 
now only you have message yes okay yes we need to take six five rational numbers so minimum minimum we need to take six more than that we can take but at least we must take six okay now we need to multiply we need to multiply this number six in the denominator and hence we are bound to multiply it in the numerator also so here we will be multiplying six here also we have to multiply six okay here also we will be multiplying six here also we are bound to multiply six so what we got we got 18 by 30 we got 24 by 30 now we can write we are done yes or no yes sir yes sir can you tell me quickly what are the rational numbers I'm 19 upon 30 20 upon 30 and uh, 21 upon 30 22 upon 30 and 23 upon 30 Is it clear to everyone? Shami. Yes, ma'am. Shamia, sorry. Shad Shamia. These two names are so similar. I am getting confused. Okay. Now let me take one question where the denominator is not same. Okay, so the next question is find five rational number in between three by four and four by six. Okay, we will be using the process which we are using when the denominator is same. Now, do you know how to make the denominator same when we are having this type of fractions? Am I taking you have learned this process while ascending in, uh, while arranging in ascending order, descending order, or comparing two fraction. We used to apply a method. What was um, that I method? See. Least common yes. factor. Yes, please tell me. Ma'am, LCM. LCM. Okay, whenever we are having two fraction and the when the denominator is not same and if we want to make the denominator same, there was a process that find the LCM of 6 and 4. Can you tell me what is the LCM of 6 and 4? Ma'am, 12. Ma'am, 12. Is it 12? Yes, Shad, are you getting the LCM as a 12? Yes or no? Yes. So, we are getting LCM as a 12. Okay. So, we want to make this denominator according to the LCM that is 12. This denominator also we want to make according to the LCM that is 12. Since we have changed the numerator, we have to change the, since we have changed the denominator, we have to change the numerator as well. So what will be the numerator? And, uh, the, for the first one, it would be 9. And it would be 9. Next one. And it would be 16. Is it 16? Shamia, a great... Yes, ma'am. Sure. 6, 2 times 12. Yes, ma'am. 6, 2 times 12. Then numerator um, it would be eight. 8. 
Yes. Are you getting it, Shamya? Where we are doing here, six became 12. That means six into two. So four into two, we will be doing, no? Yes. Okay, it will be eight. We have made the denominator same. Now we can proceed with our method. When the denominator was not same, we will not proceed. We will not start our method. The method which we have learned, the shortcut is only applicable when the denominator is already same. If it is not same, first make it same. And then start the process. So five rational numbers. So minimum five plus one, that is six. Six, six we need to multiply. Now, our fraction is not 3 by 4 and 4 by 6. Our fraction is 9 by 12 and 8 by 12. Okay? Yes. 9 by 12 is eventually 9 by 12. When you will do crisscross, you will get 3 by 4 only. Okay? So, this is just an equivalent fraction we have got. Now, the denominator we have made same. Now, the process say, says that 5 rational just a second. Just a second. So we will be using our method which says that 5 rational number means we will be multiplying 6. 6 with the denominator and 6 with the numerator. Here also 6 with the denominator and 6 with the numerator. So what are we getting? 54 by what is the denominator? 48. Uh, so, uh, sorry ma'am. Uh... I'm at 72. Yeah. And the other one? Um, it's 48 upon 72. Perfect. Now we can just continue in the same manner. Okay. We are having 48 by 72. We are having 54. So we can just reverse way. 49. Okay. We can just write it here and there. Check it. We can write this 48 by 72 here. And we can write this 54 by 72 here. Because when it was fraction, then it we were not sure which one is the smaller one, which one is the bigger one. Okay. Even when it we have converted it in the equivalent fraction, then also we must have noticed that one is 9 by 12, another is 8 by 12. So we must write 8 by 12 at first and then 9 by 12, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes, we must have written it like this. That time we have not written. So what? Now we can write it. We have realized, okay, 54 is there, 48 is there. So we can write it straightforward way so that we will not get confused. 48, then 49 by 72. Then 50 by 72, then 51 by 72, then 52 by 72, then 53 by 72. Let me remind what I am telling. In the very beginning, the question was 3 by 4 and 4 by 6. It was not visible here. Which one is the smaller fraction? Which one is the bigger fraction? Once we have converted, made the denominator same, it is visible here. That... The first one is the bigger and the other one is the smaller. So it will be better if you will write the smaller one at first and the bigger one after. Okay. However, if you are writing it this way only, you will be, you just need to understand in between 54 and 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, you can introduce these rational numbers. Okay. Any confusion? Shamia, Shad, Arhan. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
so when the denominator is not same first we will be making it same the way we were doing it while arranging in ascending order or descending order that way we will be making the denominator same by taking the lcm then we will start this short trick method where if five rational number then at least six we will be multiplying